Aren't you watching one of your favourite documentaries, Silly Bob? You could say that, Flo. I'm always in the pursuit of scientific discovery. What are you discovering today? Nuclear energy? Unexpected chemical reactions? Forces of gravity? No, none of those things. I'm watching cartoons. Cartoons? I thought you said you were discovering science. I am. You see, science is everywhere, even in cartoons. Cartoons are created using a process called animation. What's animation, I hear you ask? I didn't ask. I know what animation is. I'm glad you asked. Animation is a way of making pictures appear as if they're moving. In traditional animation, drawings, which are very slightly different to each other, are shown one after the other so quickly that the human eye is tricked into thinking the image is moving. I'll show you what I mean. Look at these pictures of a lady running. Each picture is very slightly different to the one next to it. When the images are shown to you, one at a time, it creates the illusion that the lady is running. Run, lady, run! The monkeys are loose! Silly Bob, on the subject of cartoons, have you ever made a flip book? A flip book? What's that? Is that a book that when you read it, it makes you flip around on your belly like a fish out of water? Not usually, no. A flip book is a book that has a different drawing on each page. When you flip through the pages, it looks like a moving image. Ah, uh, yes, I know what you're talking about. Look at this one, made from just a bulldog clip and some scrap paper. I know another way you can make animations, using one of the first types of animation, a zoetrope. A zoetrope? What's that? It's a spinning cylinder with holes cut into it, designed in the 19th century as a way of animating a picture. You simply look through the holes while the device spins and you can see a moving image. I can show you how to make one if you like. Making a zoetrope is lots of fun. In order to make one, you'll need a paper plate, some glue, a pair of scissors, a pen, some blue tack and some card. You'll also want to make sure you've got a responsible adult with you because we're also going to use a scalpel to make some cuts. That said, let's make this cool animation tool. Now one of the first things we're going to do is make sure we've got a hole right in the centre of our paper plate. To do this, I'm going to put down the blue tack, I'm going to put the plate over it, and I'm going to take a drawing pin, stick it right in the middle of the plate, just give it a little wiggle about there, and take it out. With this hole, I'm now going to use the pen and poke right through the centre, just like that. And I'm going to put the cap on it now, just to hold it in place. And now I've got something I can spin around. Well, that's handy. Take one of our sheets of cardboard and I'm going to just fold a line right down the edge of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be perfect. Next, I'm going to fold the card over exactly in half this way. And then I'm going to fold it over once more. And I'm going to fold it over one more time again. Just like that. Next I need to get my scalpel. And this is where you'll want to make sure that you have got a responsible adult with you. Near the top I'm going to make a little slot in the paper. Being very, very careful. And I'll make another one, just a little bit further down. And now I'm going to join those two by creating a line straight down. And 
and I've now cut a section out of the side of the card and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side too just at the same height and there we have our card with two slots in it but look what happens when we open it up now you remember the line that we folded along here well what we're going to do is we're going to cut from the corner down to the bottom in a diagonal shape so that the cuts go right the way up to the line and you should end up with something that looks like this Now that's great, but you need two of them, so let's do it again. Just add some glue into each one of these little tabs. And now I take the paper plate and I'm going to fold this round the outside creating a kind of a circle. Yeah, that's not, not looking too bad. Now when I put this side in I want to get the edges as close to each other as I possibly can. Now what I like to do next is just finish off the top a bit more nicely. So all I'm going to do is take a different colour of card and I'm going to just cut a nice long strip. And then I'm going to cut another nice long strip. There you go. I want to make sure that the trim goes over the join to hold the pieces together a little bit better. And then, it's back to our pen. Let's add the pen back in, taking the lid off. Putting the pen through, adding the lid back in. And now, we have something that we can see through. So now all we need to do is put an animation in here. I'm going to do a fun but easy animation. Let's see. I just draw a little line just up from the bottom just in pencil. I'm going to need to do the same on another sheet of paper. I'm just doing it the width of the ruler. Just do whatever your ruler width happens to be. I'm going to draw just a little line every inch down just so I know where I'm drawing something just a squished looking ball and then a slightly less squished looking ball and then a slightly less squished looking ball and then really quite a round looking ball and notice that I'm drawing them just slightly higher every single time 
This time I'm going to do it the other way round. With them getting just slightly lower and lower every time. I now want to take my two sheets and I'm going to cut them down the middle so that I've got just the bottom part. I don't want the top part of these pieces of paper. Nice circles. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sellotape these two sheets together. The final thing I'm going to do is to just glue these two sheets of paper together. I'm only going to glue it at one side. But let's just add a wee blob of glue down there. That looked like a fun project, Silly Bob. Thanks, Flo. It really was. If anyone at home tries making an animation using any of the techniques we've tried today, oh, we'd love to see them. Professor Silly Bob, before we go, can you tell me how I was separated from my body? I don't seem to remember. Ah, uh, that's all we have time for this week. Thanks for watching Silly Bob Science. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next videos. Hmm. Goodbye, Silly Bob. Hello!